Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more concept in our computer organization that is register reference instructions. register reference instructions so actually in our previous session we have discussed about one type of instruction code that is a memory reference instruction code so in that we have seen the instruction format so what is the op code value what is the address mode uh, i mean what is the address and what is the mode of uh, addressing right so everything we have seen in our previous session now we'll see the instructions which comes under this register reference so here the name itself indicates so here the operations will be done on the register itself so if you want to implement or if you want to execute any kind of instruction so nothing is to be uh, fetched from the memory right so everything will be in the uh, registers and in between the registers the operations will be performed right so here let us see the instruction code instruction format so the instruction format length is as usual it is, it is a 16 bit so one bit is for address so here always the address the mode is zero and here it is an op code so this is for three bits and always this op code will be all ones and here it will be the register operations register operations so whatever the operations we need to perform on the register that should be written here so this will be 12 bits so 0 to 11 and here it is 12 to 14 and this is a 58 so here always the uh, operation the hexadecimal code will starts with 0 triple 1 so because so if if the op code value is a triple 1 with the leftmost bit 0 this implies the register reference register reference instruction right and if all the op code values is triple one and leftmost bit is one that will be IO reference instructions IO reference instructions so this will be fixed this will be fixed and there will be only change in the register operations so here the 12 bits the 12 bits so x x x and each x represents some four bits let us assume let us assume right so all the reference i mean register reference instructions will be in the form of 7 and x x x so this if if it starts with a 7 that implies it's a register reference instruction right now we will see the instructions what are the instructions comes under this register reference and then we will see the corresponding hexadecimal code now the first one is a halt sorry it's an halt the computer okay halt the process h l t second one S J E that implies skip if E is zero. Here, here E is an extended flip flop. Okay, extended flip flop. So in our memory, uh, I mean memory reference instructions, we have seen one instruction that is an add. So if there is any carry, that should be copied to the some this this kind of extended flip flop that is a e so e will be for an extended flip flop now so skip if e is zero so if the value of extended flip flop is zero then we need to skip here the skip means increment pc increment the pc okay then Yes, Z A. 
that is skip if accumulator is zero that means accumulator is also one type of register general purpose register if the value of this accumulator is zero then we need to skip again the skip means incrementing the pc next yes n a skip if a c is negative so if the accumulator is having a negative value then we need to perform the skip that means incrementing the pc by 1 okay so skip if accumulator value is negative so that is s and a so these are the instructions okay so for every instructions we need to write the hexadecimal code so which starts from 7 followed by four different i mean three different four bits okay yes n p skip if a c is positive skip if a c is positive that means if the accumulator value is positive then we need to skip that means we need to increment the pc pc means a program counter right program counter which will uh, holding the address of the next instruction which is going to be executed so s and p skip if ac is positive right so hope you understood this one so next one inc inc is the instruction which gives the incrementing increment the accumulator the value of the accumulator will be get incremented right inc the next one c l e sorry c i r that is nothing but circulate right shape, right side circulate right so here the circulate right means logical shift right the logical shift right is nothing but our c i r then c i l which is circulate left that is nothing but logical shift left logical shift left c n e which is nothing but complement the extended flip flop e complement e that means whatever the content we have available in the extended flip flop that will be complemented so we have already covered this complement how to find the complement right so the next one c m a which is complement accumulator so the content of accumulator will be get complemented right so calculating the complement of a accumulator next c l e clear the extended flip flop that means the value of e will becomes zero okay clear clear the extended flip flop means the value of e will becomes zero and the last one c l a so which is nothing but clear accumulator so the value of accumulator will become zero the value of accumulator will becomes zero so these are the instructions comes under this register reference instructions now here the question is what is the corresponding hexadecimal code see so hope you understood this one hexadecimal code so hexadecimal code is a 16 bits so among that 16 bits the four bits represents the register reference that means a zero followed by one 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 represents the register reference instructions and we need to find out the register operations so these are all the register operations and we need to find the 12 bits for these particular register operations so simply you can see
so for this one the first one will be common so for every operation okay for every operation the first four bits are common right so these four bits represents the register reference so we need to find out the next remaining 12 bits so here simply go with the one okay so just shift this one towards the left side for every operation okay so here it will be 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 okay for the third instruction four zeros four zeros zero one double zero hope you understood right and this one zero 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 and again four zeros and this will be one triple zero and this one four zeros zero 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 one zero 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 so just shift one bit towards the left side again here four zeros followed by again uh, one zero is four zeros and here also four zeros zero one double zero four zeros zero 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 one four zero three zeros and four zeros and here zero 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 one and four zeros four zeros again zero zero one zero four zeros and again four zeros zero one double zero four zeros and again four zeros and uh, one triple zero four zeros again four zeros so these are the these are the hexadecimal code for these instructions right so you can represent this one as so this is seven zero zero one seven zero zero one and this will be seven zero zero two okay and this one seven zero zero four seven so zero zero eight and this will be seven zero one zero this is one and this is zero so the hexadecimal formats right seven zero two zero seven zero four zero seven zero eight zero seven one zero zero seven two zero zero seven four zero zero seven eight zero zero so these are the hexadecimal code for these particular instructions so these are the register reference instructions so halt psi sja that will skip if e is zero so here e is an extended flip flop and skip means just incrementing the program counter and sja skip if accumulator is zero and then sna so skip if accumulator value is a negative and skip if accumulator value is positive and increment the accumulator circle it right that means a logical shift right and circle it left which is a logical shift left and uh, complement the value of extended flip flop and complement the value of accumulator clear the extended flip flop and clear the accumulator so these are all the register reference instructions right so hope you understood this one and if you are having any doubts regarding these uh, instruction codes so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much